Hi there, this is Alvin with kickstartcommerce.com and in today's tutorial I want to show you how to um, add WordPress tags to a WordPress post and so previously I'd shown you how to add a category to a WordPress uh, post programmatically and so today I'm going to show you how to add tags programmatically using WordPress and uh, PHP. So that being said, we're going to jump into, I have a local copy of uh, WordPress up and ro running. Um, and so you can likely, I mean, you can do this within a production um, running WordPress or production installed running WordPress, or uh, you can choose to do as I do and use a local copy using either uh, XAMPP for Windows or um uh, Mac and so that being said I already have as you can see I have an update categories post I've already created an update tags post and we'll just go ahead and show show it and it'll load here and basically it just has a title page of tags it has just a simple description this is a simple test to update a post with a new tag and then down here it we already have one tag called tag one that being said, what we're going to do is go to the dashboard and I'm going to open it up into a new window here, a new tab, browser tab. And under post, you have categories and you have tags. So here's where you could actually go in and add um, each tag manually if you wanted to. And so you can see we have um, four different tags. We have tag one, tag two, tag three, tag four. You can also see the number of posts associated with each tag. So we have an updated tag post that already has um, the tag one associated with it. So if we go back um, to the actual tag page, we'll click edit. And when you're working with tags within WordPress, then on the right hand side, so you can see there's the title there's whatever description or content that you would have there and then on the right hand side you have categories and then you have tags you can see that we already have tag one there if we wanted to add tag two you could type add tag and then it auto completes as you type or you can you know you can come in and type a new one and then just click add we're not going to do that from this standpoint but I just want to give you the vantage point of how you were to if you were to go about doing this within WordPress then this is how you would do it within the system that being said what we'll need to do is to go back and view the post and here under edit if you look down here at the status bar you'll see a status bar appear when I hover over edit post you'll see it says post equals 5949 that is the post ID that being said you'll will need that because this is the post that we're going to update and add a new tag to so again it was ID 5949 um, this is not likely not going to be you're not gonna have the same ID number because each post is unique to its own environment so that being said, the two things that we'll want to focus on, WordPress has two different functions. Uh, one is called WP set post tags. The other is called WP get post tags. So one of the things when you're updating posts with tags, what you want to make sure of is that you, you capture what IDs or tag IDs or post tags are already assigned to that given post. So a lot of times the code that we're going to develop today, you're going to use likely in an environment that already has tags assigned or you will want to create new tags. If you already have tags assigned and you're just wanting to add an additional tag to those tags, then for each post, you will want to get their post tags first, then add the additional tag to that list of tags. If not, what will happen is you'll go and update the post, but then it'll remove all the other tags and only add the one. So remember WP get post tags and um, I'll include a link into, I'll write up a blog post and all of that include the links there uh, within that blog post, but there's basically the function. So WP underscore get underscore post underscore tags uh, will get 
uh, specific post tags. WP underscore set underscore post underscore tags will actually set um, or append uh, the tag. And so if it's append, then the value is a Boolean value, which that means it'll need to be true. If not, if it's set to false, then what happens is it will um, overwrite. And so I'm going to show you a little neat trick um, that doesn't necessarily use the append, but it will, um, you know, basically either append or it'll just create the new tag. So that being said, let's hop over into, I'm using Sublime, and what I'll do here is bring it down into Viewing Pane. And so I've created a file called update-post-tag.php. And in this file, what you'll want to do, and I, I'm not necessarily going to go through all the details, but I'm going to walk you through just kind of showing you um, two different ways that you can do it. First, we'll focus on the, the code that's not commented out. So the code that's not in gray, we'll focus on it. So one of the first things that you'll want to um, do is, one, I created, so my main folder where um, WordPress is installed is SSI, and it's using a local host. I, then I created a folder that was called migration. You can name it whatever. It could be named test folder. Um, whatever you name it, just remember that you know you need to understand the name. Nevertheless, create your PHP um, file. Include or require once the wp-load.php file. In short, this file will let you access um, native WordPress function. So in this place, you know, we're going to access the WP underscore get underscore post underscore tags, as well as the WP underscore set underscore post underscore tags. So make sure that this is included, just like you have here. The next thing was remember, we we wrote down that our ID that we're going to be updating is 5949. You can make this dynamic to where you could actually go and retrieve all the posts. I'm not going to show you that. I'm just going to show you how to update one post at a time. Um, you could actually go look up uh, WP get post and figure it out using a for each statement. Nevertheless, in singular form, we're going to update this one post, post ID 5949. Next, what we want to do is set a category. Now, what I want to show you the first way is how do you set a, a tag um, not a category. So a tag, how do you set a tag that's going to be new by name? Um, so a lot of times you can update a tag by ID or you can update a tag by name. Uh, that being said, what we'll want to do is set a variable here to be tag5. So when you look back into our local tags, you see we have a tag1, tag two, tag three, and tag four, but we don't have a tag five. After we execute this code, we will have a tag five. So next up, so once you set tag space five as the value, then the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is to go get the post 5949. So that's why we use the WPID variable there from line five. And then what we do is set the array um, to equal basically an array field and then the val the key is the field the value is names so what this does it takes that id and says okay go and return to me in an array format whatever tags are associated so if we were to look at 5949 today it would say it would return in an array format um, zero index array it would say zero would be the key the value would be tag one. Okay, now that we understand that, what we do then is ask, does the tag already exist inside the array? And so what happens now is it takes that tag five and then it goes, do you have tag five in the post cat array? If not, then it'll do what's called an array push. It'll push the new value into the existing values. Now, if you remember, I, I told you back over when we were setting or about to set the post tags that you could use a, a Boolean 
um, of a pin, uh, or rather a pin and then as its value a boolean equals true or false. If it's true, that means whatever tag will be appended to the already appended um, or already, I guess, existing tag. If it's false, then that one tag will replace any and all other tags. That being said, what I'm doing here with just this little if statement in array push is essentially what would be done here if we were to say, you know, true. If it's true, then it just takes tag five and adds it to all other existing tags. If we say false, then it'll take that, it'll only take tag five and add it to the ID 5949 and update it and it'll remove tag one or any other existing tags and replace it with tag five. But like I said, we're not going to do that because I'm just showing you here how to use an if else statement um, and use the um, PHP built-in function in underscore array. And using that if uh, function, basically it does everything so you don't have to accept, uh, set the append value or argument. That being said, once it's being pushed, then basically, hey, we take that event or set an event variable, set it equal to the WP underscore um, set underscore post underscore tags, pass to it the ID, pass to it that array. And then basically here at the bottom I go, if event, so if it did update, then it'll say yes, um, and it'll print out the ID and likely, um, typically it'll try to print out, you know, what the tags are um, or whatever that array is. If not, it'll just print no. It'll still print the, uh, or echo the ID as well as the tags. So that being said, this is all the code that you need to basically go about creating a new tag. So once we execute this code from a browser, then what, what, what we should see is when we go back to, um, to this page, we should see it says tag one, tag five. Okay, so that said, we're gonna open up another browser here, and we're gonna type in our path, and I've already typed it in once, and so now we're gonna click enter and basically execute our, our code now on this page. So now we can see that it printed out um, one array, so it says yes it did, WPID 5949, that's the one that we wanted to update, then it says tags, and then it shows you now that it now has tag one and tag five. That being said, if we go over and we now refresh the page, so see, this is update tags, tag one, it should say tag one and tag five now. And it does say tag one and tag five. And so now there's how you update it with the name. Now, if we want to update and add, let's say, uh, we want to update by ID. So we can update by ID. We will um, basically set the art category or the tag category to be 21. Now, I know 21 to be likely is the case tag. Uh, I want to either say it's tag 2 or tag 3. We'll see here momentarily. I think it is... Uh, tag 2. We will set that variable value. We'll set it equal to tag 21. Next, we will uncomment and do the post tag variable. We will set wp underscore get underscore post underscore tags. So instead of doing the names as we did here below, we're going to now do the IDs. That being said, you can comment out lines 10 and 11, which were dealing with the tag name. And then here at line 13, we're going to uncomment line 13 and then comment line 13 because we're using, instead of the ArcCat name, we're using the ArcCat ID. Finally, we will uncomment line 16 and then comment out line 17. And now we are ready to save the code and go back and re-execute the code again and then what will happen is now we can see that 
the tags are tag, um, and it shows the IDs that now it has tag 24, tag 20, and then as you, we see, tag 21. So now when we go back to the page and look at the page and refresh the page, now we should have three tags that appear here. That being said, there is, great, now we have a tag one, and as I anticipated, the next number 21, ID 21 was tag two, and then we have tag five. In short, that's how you add tags programmatically um, using PHP within WordPress. Like I said, it's um, a feature that is quite often if you're doing a migration um, of an old website to a new website and you have new tags or you're wanting to replace all the tags um, of the new website or of the old website with new tags for the new website, this is how you can programmatically do it without having to go um, edit each post one by one, tag by tag. And so I hope that this answers um, your questions in regards to programmatically updating WordPress posts with the tag feature. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to visit kickstartcommerce.com or as well, feel free to uh, drop me um, a question or comment below the video here and I'll do my best to answer it. Um, in the meantime, subscribe to the YouTube channel here and be on the lookout. Like I said, I'll be doing more um, tutorials as it pertains to search marketing as well as just automation, integration, as well as domain name investing. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and it's helped you out quite a bit. Again, feel free to visit kickstartcommerce.com and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks.